and I thought I'd shoot a quick video to explain some reasons. First thing to understand is that prednisone is not a targeted drug. It's like using a shotgun. A shotgun, when you shoot it at somebody, it'll get their whole body, that little bullet bursts into a million pieces, and they're covered in all that shot. That's what prednisone does. It's not like a sniper where it will just take out the one person in the crowd. No, prednisone will take out the whole crowd. So that explains what it can be used for. It can help with almost everything. If it is an inflammatory condition, or basically nobody really knows what's going on, they might just give you So prednisone is used for the most common reasons are rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, and other breathing, bleeding, excuse me, breathing disorders like COPD, lupus, and other um, inflammatory and autoimmune conditions, bleeding disorders like the one I have, ITP. It can help with cancer treatments. It can help with transplants to make sure that you don't reject your brand new heart or your brand new liver. It can help with um, skin disorders like rashes or psoriasis. It can help with allergic reactions. It can help with just almost anything. So what's fascinating about prednisone is basically if it doesn't help with that condition, then that might be a side effect you're going to experience. So um, basically, it can be used for a lot of things. In the literature, almost 100 different conditions are listed in the package insert. And then there's another like 50 that are in well-respected drug references, plus tons more that aren't, haven't even made it to that list. So if you're wondering, has anyone else with my condition used this? Probably, but is it in the package insert? It might not be. If you want to know more about this, check out my website, prednisonepharmacist.com. The article is going to be called, What is Prednisone Used For? Check it out at prednisonepharmacist.com.